Hi hey everyone, in today's video we're going to start modelling a, a bicycle. Um, I'm not sure how many parts we're going to do this in, so what we'll do is in this video we'll set up the reference images, talk a little bit about the project and then we'll take it from there. So first of all I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to go to canvas which is here. Insert for computer and I've got it saved on my desktop and it is bike reference image that I've got here. Um, for these reference images or these measurements, there is a very, very good website called, oh sorry, I should say something, I've just clicked on what um, plane I want to put that on first of all, sorry, um, and then I will just move it across a little bit. Um, yeah, there is a very good website called dimensions.com, I think it is. Um, you can pay to get like full-size ones, I have sort of screenshotted them, and what they've got are a huge amount of pretty much every single thing I can think of. Um, for reference images. Um, right, let's just go to calibrate. Thankfully on this, it actually has measurements on there as well. So I'm gonna click here to here, and we'll ignore that because inches and we don't do inches. We'll do 167.6, hit enter. Okay, and then let's edit canvas, and let's just bring it into position, try and get it as central as we can. Our central line is that blue line there by the way for our origin so as you can see the little origin is this little circle bit there I'll try get this as central as I can do and then I'll just bring it up so it's sitting on that line okay um, so yeah if you're wondering where I got sort of like reference images like this dimensions.com I believe it is um, really really useful okay so we've got front let's do the other side let's go to insert and canvas same again. I could have cropped these, but I thought actually I won't bother because um, it's quite useful to have them all sometimes. We'll keep it. No, let's put them around. Always do the wrong way around. That way. Okay. Then let's calibrate. So let's right click, calibrate. There to there. I would like it to be 50.8. The benefit of dimensions.com as well is actually that it has dimensions on there as well and it does have both inches and metric I mean obviously metric being the superior one but apart from that okay let's sort of edit canvas bring that up for in as line as much as possible and then we want to bring well There, let's have a look. Okay. And then let's just do the top as well. So you can see I'm this is the bit here I'm sort of lining up this this part here and this bit. And then we'll do the top one as well. So let's go to insert canvas byte reference. And we'll leave that like that. Then let's edit canvas. No, nope. right click calibrate. Then let's do there to there, and we'll do 167.6. Enter that'll make it massive. Then we can edit canvas and move it. So, what we want to do really is try and get it. Look. I can come a bit more that way, can't it? About there. So I'm trying to line up. This is clearly here. There's the back wheel, this part here. So I'm trying to just make sure it's sort of in line with that. Okay, so that is our reference images set up. Don't forget as well. <coughs> excuse me. Um, right click it, calibrate will let you say what size it is, edit canvas will let you move it around, that sort of thing, and if you ever want to put, um, turn them on off and on, just a little, little eyeball there, or click on it, hit V, visibility, and it'll turn back on again. Right, that's step one, so we'll stop there, um, and then in the next video we will start to model our bike. 